Hey, what's up, dudes? This is a new episode. It's called Pocket Army. Uh, I'm, this video is going to show you some tips and tricks and a glitch at the very end. Um, I try to record this a couple times, and it keeps messing up at the very end with the glitch. And if this one doesn't work, I'm just going to still post it on YouTube. And hopefully it doesn't mess up, but it probably will because it happened the last three times. And I'll, if I, I think I'm just going to tell you how to do it. It works on the game just fine, but whenever I'm recording, it just, like, stops the recording part. So I think I'm just going to tell you instead of actually doing it. And then I'll post a part at the very end where I'll show you how to do it, or, like, it actually works, and it keeps doing it repeatedly over and over and over again uh, as much as you guys want to. I'll, I'll probably just take a picture, take a picture, post it, put it, put it, and then it'll help you guys out if you guys are confused. So... My, uh, this game is called Pocket Army, you guys have probably heard me at the very beginning say that, but if you guys don't have a download or download it, this game is very fun, it's addicting, if you guys like medieval times, swords, weapons, shields, I don't know, uh, uh, army, army people leveling up, you guys will love this game, it's really fun, it's nothing like any Xbox game, Call of Duty, it's nothing like that at all, it's kind of like RuneScape, if you guys know what that game is, but it's not, this, it's like, because you have like an army that you can control, the only thing that's similar is like the uh, the the armor, the weapon, and the shields. Those are the only things that are really similar to the game. But everything else is completely different. So I'm gonna show you some of my tips that I have figured out that helped me out help helped me out a lot in the game. So you, when you go to barracks, you, the thing that you guys should do is buy the buy. Like let's say you have the first guy, uh, he's upgraded all the way. You're gonna want to buy him before you upgrade him at all. Buy like all eight of them, then you're gonna upgrade, and then you're gonna upgrade them all, uh, as much as possible. The reason why that is because, like, when you buy him when he's not upgraded at all, it is a lot cheaper to train him. So that's uh, and then make sure you guys upgrade all the best characters, all the characters, all the way because that helps you out a lot when you get to higher levels. So that will help you guys out a lot once you get to like higher leveling in the game so that's my first tip to, for you guys so uh, then you're gonna want to go to shop when you go to shop you're not gonna want to buy any swords other than uh, probably gosh dang it keeps doing this probably the long sword that's what I stopped because I stopped the long sword because I just needed a new sword because uh, it was my other sword wasn't doing do any like any damage on anybody so I bought a new sword and then, I didn't buy any of these, as you can see right here. I didn't buy any of those swords. Uh, on the shields, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. You're not going to want to buy any shield. You're just going to want to buy the, uh, up to the steel buckler. That That's probably the shield that's going to help you out the most until you get the abandoned armor and sword and stuff. Then you're going to want to go to armor. You're going to want to buy every single armor that you can get because armor matters the most on this game. Because that gives you HP and helps you live longer. So you're going to want to buy every single armor every single time you get a new armor. So uh, th this really helps me out in the game. Um, the glitch was found by my friend. I'm, I'm not going to say it right now. But uh, when you're fighting, <clears throat> okay, whenever you're fighting the abandoned person, that guy, or the girl. On the girl, you're gonna want to invite all your friends or five friends up to five friends, five highest friends. I only have two friends, so it's uh, kind of hard. But <clears throat> whenever you're doing this or whenever you're fighting this girl, you're gonna want to run all the way up to her. Uh, once you res like went all the way up to her, you're gonna want to use all your special abilities that you have. If you don't have any, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, just do it uh, after what I just do. So after you use all your special abilities, you're going to want to run behind her. The reason why you're going to want to run behind her is because when you have a higher level friend, uh, he, uh, she attacks the higher level person. So you can do all your special abilities behind her and everything, and the higher level person is going to get attacked. The most likely, the higher level person won't die because you're such a low level compared to him. <clears throat> so... This helps you out a lot if you don't want to if you don't want to like waste any energy potions or if you don't want to waste anything related along those lines with uh, to deal with health health uh, health potions. So that that helped me out a lot. Helped me kill her a lot faster. Helped me kill uh, her a lot more. And if you guys don't want to do do that, uh, have fun trying to figure out how to kill her without <laughs> doing it because you get hit a lot. Okay. <clears throat>
for this guy, now the abandoned person. The abandoned person is pretty much the exact same way, except for this time, you're going to get hit. The, uh, when you get hit, don't freak out about it. Just be like, uh, it doesn't really matter. So you're going to want, if you want to, you guys can use all your special abilities in the front of him. It doesn't really matter. You're just still going to get hit, so... Okay, so once you get hit once, you're going to want to run behind him. Or it doesn't really matter if you get hit once at all. But you're going to want to run behind him. The reason why you're running behind him is because your uh, forces or allies don't get hit at all. The reason why you don't want them to get hit is because you have they have a lot lower HP level than you. And they have a lot less. And they have like a little bit. They have really low uh, t damage also. So you guys, you're, running, gonna get, you're gunning, going to want to get hit on this one. Uh, once you guys finish this one. Uh, you'll get like a certain amount of coins or XP and everything and this stuff this helps you out a lot once you get to higher levels and it helps you this helps you out a lot when you're doing a glitch because you can continuously fight them over and over and over and over and over again and you level a lot fast or really really fast as you can sell I got 11k off that <coughs> so this glitch helps you out a ton to level up so you're gonna go want to go to here oh wait I'm not gonna show you how to do it I'll just uh, guide you through it so, you're going to, I'll just fight, I guess, I'll just fight, uh, campaign, help my guy out. Okay, you're going to want to do, uh, exit out of the game, you're going to go, want to go to your settings, and then once you're at the settings, click on general. Uh, once you go to general, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click time, or date and time settings. Once you click time, date and time settings, you're going to want to turn it off, so it automatically sets it. The reason why you're going to want to do that is because it helps you once you turn off your time and date setting or t date and time settings it helps you move the days forward and once you move the days forward the reason why you're doing going to do that is because that's when the glitch happens you're going to want to move the day one day forward the reason why you're going to want to make the day one day forward is because the glitch whenever you do the glitch it uh, allows you to <coughs> uh, like it make it th this game thinks you're one day forward uh, instead of actually being a day forward. So you don't have to wait for like <clears throat> a really long time. So you can just go there, uh, click date and time settings, move day forward, and then <coughs> and then uh, this game thinks you're a day forward. So And then after winning this game thinks you're a day forward, all you're going to have to do is go to the map again, and you are going to see the girl and the guy back up here. So you guys can do that over and over and over and over again. Get a ton of XP, get a lot of money from daily rewards, and uh, uh, yeah. So this this helped me out a lot to level up really fast. This helped me do a lot more things than what I was ac actually thought I was gonna be able to do on this game. Uh, I thought I was just gonna be like a person who just figured out the game, like just played normally. But once I figured, once my friend told me about this, I was like, okay, screw that. I'm not gonna take. Like 28 days just to get to level 10 or 30. So, this this glitch, glitch helped me out a lot to level up faster. I hope it helps you guys out. So, if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. The, that shows me that you guys. Sh show, that, blah, 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 I can't talk now. That shows, shows me that you guys enjoy my video and actually like my content that I'm posting. So, thank you. Um. I think I'm going to go to Black Ops 2, uh, 2, show you guys some cool clips that I got. I just got to figure out how to post it uh, through uh, the Xbox. Or I'm going to get one of my friends to record. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Uh, you guys have been a lot of support. I really appreciate it. So keep it up, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.